Archeria Micro Freak Tips and Tricks Volume 5. Um, so the first one was to do with saving spice and dice on the sequence. So I didn't know myself that it did this, but if you was to have a quick sequence. <laughs> back to 349 it's remembered the spice and dice which although it hasn't saved the notes on the sequence it's still really useful if you've used it in context of a tune and you need to call it back up okay so that's tip one the next one is Spice and dice on the Alpregio. We hold that. Okay, if for some reason we liked that one, we could now go. That's a sequence. Um, now it doesn't matter if that spice or dice now. However, can spice and dice it again. But if you turn that off and you look, all the information is retained, ties and rests and the notes. So that's a good way to use Spice and Dice to come up with a sequence that you can actually save. Okay, so the next one is again with the Alpregio. But let's say we had some chords that we use paraphonic mode for. So now we go to art mode. some notes that you like change the time division and now make it a sequence So that's a really good way to get an inspiring chord sequence out of the Micro Freak. Um, the next one was making a sitar sound. Really good for instrument modeling or uh, emulations of real instruments. This thing is. This one's really simple. If you look at the car plus string oscillator, I've got the decay set all the way to the top, position around the middle to taste, and the bow quite high. I'd say around 75. But we'll start this from the beginning. So the first thing you want to do is go into car plus string. And as you can see, it's standard, it's almost there.
So that's quite a useful one. Okay, so the next one's to do with pitch bend. Mm -hmm. can't modulate this or for a better word you can't yeah you can't modulate it so a good way to do it I found is if you set the pitch to cycling envelope and you put it on loop Hold and sustain. All the way to the top. You want to put the fall and shape all the way to the bottom and the rise all the way to the bottom. Now you can use this as a pitch bend. So now if we had a decent sound. And then you can choose the range of how far you want that to go with the modulation. And obviously you can modulate that. Um, the next one was an orchestral sound. So again, if we go into car plus, and this time we're going to use Use unison mode. And we're going to go to spread. So all the way to the top. Really good for an orchestral piece. Okay, and the next one. This is a little bit random on the filter. I talked about this before, but this is just for variation. So all we're gonna do here is get the LFO and we're gonna put a little bit of modulation on. We don't want it to re-trigger. And we're gonna put it on smooth random. As you can hear, it's never the same twice. But it's not out of range enough for you to, it's not extreme enough for you to notice it. So that's a really nice trick just to keep things a little bit fresh so it doesn't always sound the same. Um, okay, so the last one was an FM trick. So, if we go on to FM. And we find a nice... Nice point. Okay, so then the trick here was to get the wave and we want to set it to the key R. And 
the idea of this is fine tuning. So this is zero. We're trying to do this with this. Don't have the same, um, the same fine tuning ability. Right. Okay. Um, that's it for that's it for five. Um, hopefully there'll be another one. Although, like I say, it is getting really, really hard to come up with new ideas. Um, I feel like I've covered everything almost. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Hopefully there'll be more.